Hey, what's up, everybody? Video 44 coming at you another video. All right, so figured I'd do another therapy session. 19 minutes to talk. I don't know what's up with my phone. Even when you have 40 minutes to talk, you erase 30 minutes worth of video, and then it comes back with 19 minutes. That's why I know something's off. But whatever the case may be, I'll use what I have. Um, yeah, I, I just want to remember things that I don't remember. My friend uh, held me accountable for another one of those stories that I just don't remember. <laughs> and... You know, I do have a trash memory, but it would be nice to be able to harken back to those thoughts. Or at least harken back to uh, the specifics of what it is she's referring to. I might remember certain things around it, but I don't remember enough to really say I don't remember it that way. No, I, don't, I just don't remember it. Um, and you just get frustrated with that. So that's kind of what I'm meditating on right now. The first one, the first story was like, yeah, I kind of remember that, but not that way. The second story is like, I, I really don't remember it that way that much you know like nothing much from that as she described it to me so you just get to a point where you want to meditate on that that's where i'm at so uh yeah but um you know i, I just I, I think that that i've come a long way i guess that's what i was thinking about before i turned on the camera we can always say we have a long way to go and that's a fact but um one has to just understand that a lot of what it is I just went through and put myself through, I guess, could be um, building blocks for uh, steps in the right direction for appreciating things a little more, appreciating people a little more, being willing to be more unselfish, being uh, cognizant of how sharp my words can be and how harsh they can be received and, you know, just how I want to be respected when I deal with people in certain different traits and, and, and stuff that I just don't want to see in others that I ultimately definitely don't want to be remembered for showing in myself. So as we grow older in life, and regardless of what point in your life you're in, it gets to be days like this where someone shows you who you are versus who it is you thought you were. And maybe, maybe you can recall things the way they recall them, but it doesn't matter. It's about the impact of your energy and how whether someone receives you the way that you intend to be received or not, you can control certain things so that you never allow yourself to be spoken of a certain way. And so I've done a poor job of that. And I think I've also done a poor job of respecting that other people talk to, you know, saying things to people that I probably don't want to say to others, you know. It's just not the best uh, display of character. And so I'm finding myself in spaces where I can, I can grow. I can grow from the suggestion of others telling me where I can grow and then from there taking it from them and incorporating it into what it is I'm intending to do and so that's that's the meditation right now and I let you guys in on that because uh, I just felt compelled to turn on the camera I think these last couple weeks I hadn't been uh, so I figured I'd give that a shot and uh, yeah that's what's on my mind I, I am in between a moment where I'm I got a meal to eat <laughs> that's in there uh, ready to eat, but I'm thrown off by the fact that I ate several hours later with my other meal earlier, my lunch meal. So I ain't hungry. I don't want to go lay down. I still got a little playlist to listen to. But that I would, The one I just made needs to be listened to, of course, to edit it. But uh, I don't feel like listening to music yet because I'm still in this meditative space, so to speak. And I ain't hungry yet, but I am kind of sleepy. So it's just one of the weird ass times, excuse my language, where I just say, you know what, let me just turn on the camera and see if my stomach starts growling while I'm recording. <laughs> but uh, unlike back in the day, I can't sit here for an hour and just yap. So, yeah, it just, it's just a, a time to understand where certain difficult things have to be done to improve upon my life. And receiving harsh criticisms is one of several. I think the Lord is structuring out everything in my growth as the way that it needs to be done. And uh, as I continue to, to receive uh, hard times, I can also be humbled to understand that they may be due uh, in certain things that I may have, have done, whether I'm cognizant of it or not. So, you know, we, I receive my karma on my chin and I look for the Lord to, you know, strike me again if I deserve it you know at the end of the day I want to get it right though and that's what I was telling you guys in the previous video and I obviously feel the very same way even though I still 
don't quite remember that particular those particular stories I do remember some others you know that's that's what it really comes down to even if I don't remember where she said I didn't display myself best I can recall plenty of where I didn't and so it's good enough for me point is the traits that I don't like could be seen by others it's not it's not something you that I hide with a mask and nothing like that. So when I look and reflect upon myself and I think about all the various things that I've done, I got to keep a balance. There's the good and then there's the bad. And the bad needs to be discarded of as it pertains to. You don't beat yourself up for that. You receive what it is that you need to receive. You intend to do different and you move forward. And that's just all you can can really do so that's where I'm at man I'm not gonna sit up here and say I'm the worst person in the world or get mad at the fact that I don't remember what was done there and then try to try to make sense of it by deflecting I don't think that really works at all um, I do remember other stories that's the bottom line so get it right this time um, it's what I tell myself and hopefully I'm leading by example uh, a healthy reflection is a good thing man Maybe you don't sit by candlelight, but if you get a chance in your life to spare a moment to reflect upon various different things that come your way, uh, instead of just moving head first in, in life and then as people hold you accountable, deflecting everything that would otherwise challenge you, uh, I think you'll find a whole lot of fruit in incorporating that criticism into your world as you receive it through the lens of self-love uh, if you can do that you don't want to take on harsh criticism if you're having a hard time loving yourself because all that's going to do is drive you further into a space where you can't make the decisions necessary to make you better and hating yourself will always get in the way of certain circumstances such as these uh, and I think i found self-love since that's the beauty of, 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 of where I'm at now it's like well if I never knew to love myself better so that it could be incorporated into loving others, I know how to now. And I think their balance there is to know how to protect oneself properly as well. If you're going to be unselfish, uh, you can't just leave the door open for people to take advantage of you, as we talked about earlier several times. So there's always some yin and yang to what it is I'm looking at. And I, I always try to um, speak of that balance, but whether or not I'm able to work within that balance is, is a whole other story and um, where we often fall, find ourselves not living up to our very own standards is, is, is sometimes a difficult thing to receive uh, when listening to other people talk about it but nevertheless the only way you're going to be able to do it the right way is if you first receive what it is that you did the wrong way so that's what it is I'm doing receiving it uh, and not trying to trying to overthink it, but nevertheless thinking as much as my mind often does. We just gonna overthink it anyway. Uh, so it's all good in the grand scheme of things. I, I think that I might have pushed back against my friend's story about the sandwich a little too much. To be honest with you, you just don't want to be so caught up in your pre perception of self versus your memory that you don't receive that they are telling you what it is they remember. Uh, so that's that's what I think I can say I didn't get right tonight. I just think that even though I didn't say you lying or nothing like that, I didn't think that nor feel that nor say that. But uh, I just, I just re remembered times where I felt that my energy and what I was trying to convey did not get received properly. And I was being... I remember being held accountable for some things that I didn't intend back then by this person. And it's like, all right, sometimes you just, sometimes things get lost in translation. You are saying this, 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 and this, and they're taking back that, 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 and that as opposed to what it is that you're intending. So it's like, are we sure we're on the same page in regards to how that went based on a few of our interactions being that way back then and I recall those and I and I and I remember being frustrated about that it's like that's not even what I intended that's not what I was trying to do that's not what I was trying to come off across and you just 
didn't receive me the way that I was trying to come off. Uh, that's a unique thing for me as well because I usually come off in ways that I intend to um, based on the interactions that people have allowed me to understand. If people don't talk to me about what it is I do wrong, then I'll never know. But, you know, I don't I don't find myself not being relatable as pertains to my uh, to various different things that I brought to her specifically that she did not relate to or take take well to. So I have to I have to filter my own you know thoughts about where the information is coming from and just how well I'm received in general by this person. So I got to run that past my own head and it's like well I mean I don't have the greatest memory so who knows but what I never want to do is just assume that uh, everyone else's recollection of things are as they went to <laughs> you know as they say it's my side it's your side and it's the truth yeah I, I don't know I don't, I don't think it went the way she said it did to be honest with you I don't not the way she described it but what can I say man you just gotta, you just gotta move forward and be better than what it is to you describe, regardless. Whether I did it or don't, didn't do it. That is not who I'm going to be going for. So that's what it come down to. Uh, some people have a conscience. You know what I mean? I hope I'm displaying a sense of a consciousness, uh, or a conscience rather. But my conscience goes as far as to say a lot of times that I receive what people have to say about me, but I also receive what the Holy Spirit allows me to feel about myself and that what you say about me does not have to define who it is that I am going forward. Whether you're telling the truth about me or not, and my actions and the impact of what it is I choose to do going forward will ultimately just define who it is that I'm going to be. Especially since I ain't famous. <laughs> now, if I were famous, no, that's not how that goes. But as long as you're not famous, that's pretty much how that goes. People don't know of you, and so you have an opportunity to display yourself properly. And so... That's what I'm trying to do, man, the right way, which is tear down all the layers of what would otherwise be, you know, defensive mechanism, defensive uh, blocks that, that, that often people put up to keep themselves from being seen as vulnerable or weak. That ain't weak to me. I don't define it that way. I think this is the way to go. I think this is the way to heal yourself for some of the issues that, that ultimately we have. You talk them out, you get them out, and you don't worry about it. And so... Uh, Hopefully, I can leave all this here. And then, as I always do, feel better after doing so. So, uh, yeah, man, that's that's really what it is. It feels like I've been talking for an hour. It's only been 12 minutes, but I guess that's what it's about. It's just getting what you need out. Uh, there's no real spiel after that. I haven't had the most eventful day or nothing like that. It started with the Lester uh, situation. We talked that out already. And, uh, you know, I went on and had a great day after that. I did my... My workout regimen, uh, ate a nice lunch, worked on a playlist for about four hours. Same old situation with Apple Music playlist. You know, you guys heard me complain about that. Today was no different, four hours. Playlist would have took 35 minutes because the music was so easily blendable. Uh, but uh, it is what it is, man. Go follow me on BDF uh, 44 at Apple Music. Apple Music, BDF 44. And... Uh, that's it, man. That's where we're at. Everything's going well with the art stuff. I've been sharing art as well. But that's just a periodic good thing that I do all day long. So, yeah, man. That's it. I ain't got much else to say, man. I hope that my character bleeds through. I hope that I can get better from here. I hope I didn't damage my buddy too bad with my selfishness in the past. And I hope that I don't carry any selfishness towards the others who follow me in any way. Uh, I understand that I struggle with interacting with people on a social level which is why I try to share so much of myself socially online here try to make up the difference and 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 maybe I'm not going to be the greatest friend because of it in person I mean I try to be a good kind person but apparently I suck at it I don't know so uh <laughs> that's just what it is I'm used to this I'm used to being alone and I think of myself first because there's no one else to consider when you are in isolation but as I often articulate on this camera I think of others uh, when I speak and what I try to incorporate into my conversation is substance and something I think you can take with you and so that's where my unselfishness in my heart I guess can convey 
uh, I have more unselfishness than what it is I've been able to show. And maybe if you listen to people who know me, they'll probably tell you I'm one of the selfish people they know. Apparently, I am. But what I will tell you is this. When I speak to you guys about what I want you to do for yourselves and be better, I'm not thinking about just me. I ain't. I'm thinking about every single soul who would ever watch this video and hopefully the people they will talk to after listening to what it is I have to say. So that's that's really what it is, man. For all the selfishness that I've been trying to mull over, I can assure you, when I get on this camera, I want to help me and you both. So that's where we're at with that. Anyway, man. Hey, man, I love myself. If people need to hear me say it again, <laughs> there's balance. And I want you to find that too. You can hold yourself accountable and be proud of yourself too. My name is BDL44. I thank you all for watching. Out.